So we want you to get a sense of this current. We want you to feel the eternal flow of it. We want you to feel the love of it. We want you to feel the consistency of it. And we want you to understand that no matter what you're doing, that stream never stops flowing and it never stops calling you. And it never stops being ready and willing to yield to you anything that you allow yourself to float into the vicinity of. So when you leave this gathering, if you will have but one new idea in your mind, and that is, I am going to go with the flow. I am going to do my best to let myself go in the direction of that which life has caused me to become. When Esther met Jerry, she could feel the call of source. No one else in her life thought she should go. Everyone else said, there is this reason and this reason and this reason. And Esther said, all of you go away because you don't know what I am feeling. And even Esther did not understand that they had set forth intentions even before their birth. Even Esther did not understand that powerful call of source. Esther did not realize that every day of her life, she had been living life and coming to the conclusions that would lead to this work. And she did not realize that every day of Jerry's life, he had been living life and coming to the conclusions of doing this work. And she did not know, nor did he, that downstream for both of them, there was a coming together of that work. And that when each of them, individually, not even knowing one another, began to follow their bliss, that the stream would lead them to one another and to that which their life had caused each of them to become. You see how it works? Once they came together and they started comparing histories of who knew who, they realized that if they had not met through the path that they met, that there were 20 or 30 other avenues through which they would have met. One day they were driving down a street in Fresno, and Esther said, I used to live in those apartments. And Jerry said, I used to live in those apartments. And Esther said, where did you live? And Jerry said, I lived in the downstairs unit right next to the laundry room. And Esther said, I lived in the downstairs unit right next to the laundry room. And when they figured it out, Jerry was the tenant that moved out right before Esther was the tenant that moved in. <laughs> Universal forces are constantly bringing you in vibrational alignment with that which you are. And the more you are willing to go with the flow of who you are, the more you begin to rendezvous. But so many of you, instead of going with the flow, you're using so much other criteria, like what does that one think, and what does that one think, and what does that one think, and what does that one think? Instead of understanding that the source that is within you knows who you have become, knows everything about everybody in relationship with that which you are, and is arranging circumstances and events every moment of every day in order to yield to you the most right now in this red hot minute in terms of manifestation of that which you have been asking for. It is a very veritable fest of creation that you are upon at all times. And unless you are following your bliss, unless you are doing your best to turn and go with the flow, you're missing out on so many things that you have been asking for. And that's what negative emotion is. Negative emotion is that feeling of me not letting myself become that which the larger part of me has become. So what faith is about is understanding who you are is non-physical energy. What faith is about is understanding the laws of the universe. What faith is about is understanding that the emotions within you are telling you one simple thing. In fact, it's the only thing you ever need to know about emotions. We said it years ago, and we'll say it even more emphatically now. There are only two emotions as far as you are concerned at any given point in time. One feels bad and one feels good. One feels worse and one feels better. Never mind what all of the options are. Never mind what you used to feel. Never mind what they feel or they feel. You've only got one choice right here and now. Upstream, downstream. Upstream, downstream. In fact, you don't even have to make the downstream choice. Just stop making the upstream choice. Just stop. Just let go of those oars. Just stop beating the current. Get off that user group online. <laughs> stop joining the groups that complain about one thing or another. Most of the things that you begin to say are knee-jerk reactions in response to what you are observing. And if you would take a beat, you used to say, if I would count to 10, if you will stop for just a moment and ask yourself, is this an upstream comment or a downstream comment? And if it's upstream, then just don't say it. <laughs> and try to smile around it. And then acknowledge what you've done and be proud of yourself for doing it. And then say to yourself, I don't want to give any more power to this and it isn't something that I want. And it's probably not really true for me anyway. And there are so many other ways of looking at it. And I'm going to try to find some other ways of looking at it. And talking about things that bother me are always upstream. And I'm going to withdraw my attention from that subject. Let's see, how can I soften this? How can I look at this in a way that feels just a little better? And as you make that effort, you'll feel yourself 
reluctantly sometimes letting go of those oars. And as you do, this wonderful current that was set into motion even before your birth into this physical body will turn you and right away you'll feel the relief of releasing the resistance. So as you leave this gathering and people who aren't here who care about you who say, what did you learn? Tell them, I learned that there is a stream and that always calls me to that which I have become. And when I let myself go, I feel better than when I don't. And they'll say, oh, that doesn't sound all that important. They'll say, you paid how much for that? <laughs> Spent a whole day just to say you'd let go of the oars? You say, well, there's a lot more to it than that. It's, it's about coming into alignment with who I was before I was even born. It was about coming into alignment with the being that I've become as I have been becoming every day of my life here in this physical experience. It's about becoming the expanded version of that which life has called through me. It's about fulfilling my life's purpose. It's about letting myself easily be the receiver of all of the things that I've been asking for. It's about vitality and clarity and wellness. It's about riches. It's about new homes and feelings of well-being. It's about fulfilling life purpose. It's about life. It's about riding the river of life. It's about finally getting at who I am. And they'll say, okay. Because <laughs> it takes a little while for you to really get the sense of all of this. But friends, we promise you that there is not a shred of evidence anywhere in your experience to the contrary of this. The source that is within you is eternally looking at you, calling you toward that which you have become. And when you go, life is ecstasy. And when you don't, not so good. So, we know you have some things you want to talk about. This meeting actually gathered before you dragged your physical bodies here. <laughs> You'll notice a perfect unfolding. Some things begin right here, then there. Yes. Thank you. There must be a way to tighten that. There you go. Uh, to tag on what you're talking about, I've heard in one of your previous CDs about after you get up, then you would write down positive and keep going, get involved with that, keep going. Can you speak to that? I've been doing that, have a lot of success, but I'd like to build with that. This is the process that we would softly, we would make work out of it, focus on. When we go to bed the night before, we would acknowledge that, hey, while I sleep tonight, my momentum is going to stop. My point of attraction is going to cease. And so when I wake in the morning, I have a clean slate. I can push the reset button. I can start my momentum where I want it to be and just build it from there. And so when I wake up, I'm going to find something nice to think about. And I'm just going to focus there as best I can until I get some momentum going. So let's say you've been doing that for a little while. Well, sometimes the thoughts of what you don't want creep in. That's all right. Just be easy about it. Say nice things to yourself about that. Well, this is my first day and I'm doing really well at this and I'll get better every day. And by the time I get to 30 days, it will be easier. In other words, talk to yourself in positive terms in the way that you would want to mentor anyone who is trying something new and not very good at it. When the little one's trying to walk and falls down, you don't say, get up, you little dummy. You, you give them an opportunity to find their balance. And so you want to give yourself the same opportunity to find your balance. But then what you begin to notice is that once you get some of that momentum going, once you realize that you feel good, then it is helpful to begin focusing upon something. Esther likes to, especially recently, meditate early in the day if possible because when and and what she's been doing in her meditation sometimes she gets the getting into the vortex meditation CD that it has several different subjects on it that you can focus upon and sometimes she just sits with the intention of breathing a deep breath in and a long breath out and just doing that for 15 or 20 minutes but what she has discovered is anything that she does early in the day with the intention of maintaining that vibration of no resistance makes it easier and easier and easier through the day and so you could if you if you are able to get into your day and have maybe 
20 or 30 or 40 minutes before you're inundated with all of the other things that are necessary for you to do start out with thoughts that feel good bask in the deliciousness of your bed make a very short and easy list of things that you appreciate and then maybe slip into a few minutes of meditation and with that process you will set the vibrational tone for your day it is our promise to you that if you could get into a day like that your point of attraction will be different than it was the day before it would be different than it has ever been because it's a new day and the things that begin to flow into your experience will leave you smiling again and again and again because you will recognize that you got out of bed on the right side so to speak or that you got off on the right foot so to speak what you want to show yourself is that you can control the direction of your thoughts and until you show yourself that do you accept that you create your own reality we'll just throw that out to you conceptually most of you who are coming to these gatherings would say yes so then we say if you accept that you create your own reality do you accept that you do it through your vibrational offering and if you accept that you create your own reality and that you do it through your vibrational offering then you must understand that your vibrational offering is what you're thinking about and the only way that you're going to know how you're doing is by caring about how you feel so if you wake up with the intention of feeling as good as you can feel for as long as you can feel it some of you want to get out and take a walk there's a really good reason that you want to do that you found that you feel better when you do that you found that your body likes that you feel that you're more light-hearted and you feel more upliftment in other words you gravitate naturally toward the things that feel good just gravitate toward the things that feel good on purpose for a little while pamper yourself pamper yourself with a good night's sleep pamper yourself with thoughts that feel good pamper yourself with deep breathing pamper yourself with plenty of water pamper yourself with getting outside and moving your body pamper yourself into alignment with who you really are and then face your day then think about the things that are, the world is dealing with and notice how different thoughts are coming to you from that vibrational vantage point than from that complaining don't want to get out of bed vibrational vantage point that you may have been experiencing I've been actually getting up and, and writing them down uh, and I believe in one of your CDs you've, you mentioned you had also done that that's and, helpful and anything that helps you to focus yes and I've been doing that and each day I come up with something different a lot of days it's the same thing but it starts my day in the right way from there um, I don't have as much success I get in a good spot when I wake up I get myself in a good spot before I get out of bed and then I'll get up and start writing it down and that seems to really really whatever propel it takes. my day whatever it takes and what, so whatever it takes whatever it takes whatever it ta takes okay. on one day it might be one thing on another day it might be another thing you don't want to do the same thing every single day you don't right. even want to take the same walk on the same trail every single day you don't want to run into the same people every single day you don't want to have lunch with the same person every single day you 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 are expanding beings you're reaching for more there's so much in your vortex that is calling you and we we just want you to find some way to put yourself in this neutral place where that can call you because we promise you if if you wake up and you can maintain this neutral vibration that vibration will call you that's the path that will call you wherever your vibration is that's the path that will call you you see so if you accept that you are the creator of your own reality and that the reason that you are the creator of your own reality is because you're offering a vibration and if you are now acknowledging that you have the ability to control the vibration that you're offering now now you are invincible now there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have yeah really good thank you we got there for you there is great love here for you and as always we remain stubbornly joyously eternally in the vortex